everyone, my name's Jo and I work here at Science Space. Now anybody who's spoken to me about my job for about five seconds will know that my very favourite demonstration to do here um, for our visitors is this one. So this has to do again with sound. Now sound is made by vibration, so things moving in the air, kind of like how you wave your hand backwards and forwards. I mean, you can't hear your hand. You, to be able to have your hand make a sound that we'd be able to hear, you'd have to be able to move your hand about 20,000 times a second, which means I probably wouldn't have a hand anymore. And that's not ideal. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make sounds with something that can vibrate that fast. So you might have one of these at home. This is a slinky. Um, these were really, really popular way back when I was a kid. I'm old. Um, <laughs> and um, this vibrates backwards and forwards. Um, what we can do is use this to try and make a sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this up and I'm going to drop it on the bench and we're going to see if we can hear anything. See if we can hear anything. It's a weird sentence, but you, you get what I mean. Are we ready? I mean, we kind of heard something a little bit when it hit the bench, but it wasn't super loud. So let's see if we can make that sound louder. Now, when you guys are trying to call to each other across a playground, what do you do with your hands? You kind of do this, right? Yeah, echo, echo, echo. So you try and make that sound go further. It kind of bounces around a little bit to make it louder. So I'm going to do the same thing with the slinky, but with this guy. So this is just a paper cup that we have here um, in our STEM zone at Science Space. And I'm going to thread that in through a little hole in the bottom of the cup that I've made. Can we see that little hole again? Yeah, of course. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So I'm just going to thread the very end of that through and then just twist it on, kind of like a spring. And now we're going to see and listen to what that sounds like and see if it's changed to the sound. Are we ready? In three, two, one. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need to try that one on the floor a little bit because it made the sound a bit louder. You ready? Here I come. <laughs> In three, two, one. You guys need to try this one at home, I think, because it sounds a lot better in person and you can make it even louder if you've got a bigger cup. So you can try and use a bucket, you can poke a hole in the bottom of it and see what happens when you use a different slinky. I would recommend using a metal slinky. It tends to work a lot better than the plastic ones. And we'd love to see your creations. So please make sure that you um, tag us on Instagram and on Facebook um, and let us know what you create. Thanks.